Today I'll be answering this viewer's question. Basically, they're working in an unrelated field. They want to work in cybersecurity. They don't have a bachelor's degree. They want to get one, and they're deliberating between the Bachelor's of Science in IT Management from WGU because it's really fast and inexpensive to get, and from WGU, the Cybersecurity and Information Assurance Bachelor's degree. This one is more relevant. It has a lot of good certifications, which are important for, in terms of like the employability framework, but that degree does take longer. And I know a lot of people are always deliberating on which degree to get. So I thought I would go ahead and make an answer to this. But before we get started, definitely check out these free practice question test banks. Me and my team built a whole bunch of them from CompTIA A+, to Network+, to Security+, to SIZA+, to Project Plus, ITIL, CISSP, we're currently working on Pentest Plus, and we're going to make a whole bunch more, focusing primarily on the certifications that are asked by, or that are required from WGU. But in the meantime, check them out, they are absolutely free. So I'm just gonna read um, most of this viewer's email, then I'll, I'll kind of tell you my response to it. So basically it said, um, I'm looking to transition from my current field into cybersecurity and, or IT. I currently lack a degree, so I'm considering pursuing one from WGU. After watching a couple of your videos, I noticed you recommend the IT management degree um, because it's pretty quick. While this option doesn't offer marketable certifications, it allows for a quicker completion, which equals less money. Um, I would need to pursue certifications independently and could potentially start working sooner. Possibly in a basic help desk role. On the other hand, pursuing the cybersecurity degree would take longer, but it comes with certifications. However, I'm concerned about lacking the necessary experience to, to secure a job after graduation. So my question to you is, would you recommend pursuing the IT management degree and supplementing with cyber knowledge and third party certifications? Or would you advise getting the cybersecurity degree first and then gaining real world experience through courses like yours? I have a cybersecurity course. Thank you for taking the time to answer my question. So I'll just get to answering this. Basically, I recommend the IT management degree for anyone who just all they want to do is just get a degree as fast as possible. And they just want to finish it for as cheap and fast as possible. This is because there's a ton of transfers from study.com. I'll put a link in the description so you can look into it if you want, but that greatly reduces the time and cost of the degree. And you can realistically finish the IT management degree in six months with some planning. But in, in this person's case, um, because they don't have, they don't really have the knowledge or skills, experience or certifications, they don't have any of that yet. And so they do, they should, you know, it's good to have a degree for employability, see the employability framework, but they kind of need to get all the other stuff as well. And I don't, I shouldn't say need because they, they don't need to get it, but it really helps to have like certifications, obviously good knowledge degree helps. Everything helps because we don't know what employers care about, right? So in terms of like uh, risk aversion and in increasing your employability, for you, I, I might recommend considering getting the cybersecurity degree. And this is because it doesn't really matter if the degree takes longer, if you're okay with the cost of it, because nobody says that you need to finish your degree before you start working. You can technically get like, you know, a few classes deep, maybe a search or two deep into the degree. You could make a nice resume with this template I'll put in the description, make a nice portfolio, and then just start applying to jobs and you can get a job. In fact, I just interviewed someone the other day. Um, they went through my course, my cybersecurity course. They put a really nice project in their portfolio, which they put on their resume. They, you know, they speak well and they just ended up getting hired as a junior SOC analyst with no degree or no certification. And I'm not telling you to like ignore degree and certification. I'm, it's good that you're getting those things. And I think if you have the means to, you definitely should. But I don't want people to think like I, I have to get a degree in XYZ certifications in order to get a job. Um, I made this thing called the employability framework. And basically, these are all the things that you need to care about to get a job. Um, everything you do kind of boils down to getting an interview and passing an interview. And if you're missing any of the components for getting an interview, for example, you don't have experience, right? Um, you can make up for it in other areas like getting some nice relevant certifications or if you don't have a degree, you can make up for it with um, a nice portfolio, just having a really good resume and written communications, really strong projects and conveying a passion, right? It's You don't have to get any one of these things. If you're missing some of them, you can make up for the skill by increasing another area like your portfolio or something like this. 
And then once you get the interview, that's that's when like none of your credentials matter anymore at that point. And you, you should have prepared for the interview. Like the student who I interviewed, they, they prepared really well for it and they just ended up getting hired. And when you have, when you've done a lot of project work, you've done like the same, for example, cybersecurity project many times in a row. For example, I'm not trying to sell my course, but there's like a full, we build like a full sock and do incident response. If you do that, for example, like three or four or five times and you get into an interview, it becomes really easy for you to talk about that. And you can convey passion and experience and just general competence really well the more times you practice something. So um, it's good that you're getting those. And if you are interested in getting certifications later and you're interested in getting a degree, I just I would recommend if you have the money and you're okay with it to just go with a cybersecurity degree. It's just really good. I made like a whole guide on how to plan for every single class in that degree. Like I pulled Reddit posts for every single class. I made a mapping for every single study.com transfer. And we're also building practice exams, like I said, for every single test in that degree. So you can prepare for a lot right and then you register and then you can just knock everything out really fast i know a few people have finished the cyber degree in six months but realistically speaking if you use this video and this plan you can probably finish it in a year and like i said you don't need to wait until the degree is done to start applying for jobs you can get a couple of shirts deep square away your resume and projects and just start applying for jobs and if you apply to both it and cybersecurity jobs you're just going to find something sooner rather than later so I hope that helps. Um, don't think about like, I gotta get a degree first. I gotta like, whatever, look at the employability framework and then like do what you can, right? And then I do recommend starting to get your cybersecurity degree, but definitely you can get a job before you, you know, graduate. So keep all of that in mind. I hope this helps.